of a drum identifies African culture. Now the drum is one of those instruments that is used in Buganda for communication. It is used when there is need to commune people for a particular reason or alert people about sad news or celebration. For Buganda in particular, different drums have different names. Plus, the men who played these drums at the King's Palace were often castrated. Yes. The king did not want them sleeping around with his wives. No cocky business, huh? <laughs> but it's no longer done these days because Mr. Kahura, who is in charge of playing the drums at Kasubi Tom's, what they call Masiro, has a wife and children. He has a family. But I think he's not being a loyal Muganda. He should go get cut. You know, Baganda be loyal to their king, eh? Oligwa, Wendigwa, Savasaja, Kawaka, Wabali Kasukide, Mbazi, Ndijigaya. <laughs> I think Mr. Kawaya should go get castrated and be a loyal Buganda. Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Etiang Laura. This is Know Your Roots. Know your roots. Know your roots. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, welcome to your local drum makers. This is the place near Kasubi Tombs uh, where we make our drums here. We have a lot of drums, musical instruments, everything concerning music we do make uh, using our natural resources uh, like these drums, these drums we use trees and the cow skins, uh, the, 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 the cow skins you have seen outside and these are our trees, these are our trees. So we start with the longer drum. This is the longer drum. We call it a long because it is longer than these ones. Yeah, they are all drums, but this is the longer drum. Our one is a short drum. So this is how we do. Uh, these are the trees. The trees are of different types. Our natural trees. When you go in a forest, you find any tree. Hmm? Any tree, if Chirundu, uh, Setala, uh, Chifabakazi, those are types of trees. Um, and the other types, if you happen to have power to put a hole inside, then you can shape it. You get a, a, a drum flame. You will cover with the skin, then you get a drum. There music starts. You see? Uh, this is how they are. This is a smaller size. If it is not in a set, then that is not a drum. In a drum, you must have this smaller drum called the Namun uh, When you have it, then everything can go. Uh, some of the, uh, the tools we use, we have, uh, we, you have, uh, as you know, in the forest, we go with a panga, with an axe, uh, yeah, and we have these these tools we use. This one is used inside to make a hole. We don't have no machines. We use our hands and our force to put a hole inside the the tree. So this is very important. We use inside. Then outside, we use this one have this type to dig outside the, to flame the drum in, in, in the format we want so this one we also use here we are at the the skins the cow skins these are the skins we use the skin hides we use when we are making drums, uh, we normally use uh, cow skins, like here, like as you see. These skins, when these skins when they are dry, then we put in water, 
uh, for softing. After softing, we put on a flame like this. Yeah, a skin can cover two flames of this kind. Uh, so when we cover, uh, wow, we spray her for a day. Then another time, we have to finish. This drum, it goes under stages. You cannot uh, uh, make a drum at uh, one day. Yeah, so it, they go under stages, one by one. It can go under four stages. Uh, this flame. Then we put on the, co this, the cover uh, with the temporary ropes. Then after you need to, after dry, you have to put on other, other ropes, the permanent ropes. From there, you need to tune the drum or the instrument. So that is like a four, three to four steps. It goes under. These are the skins. This skin does not take much long, longer because when they remove it from a cow then we treat it with the salt. You can power on three to two, two to three kilos of salt after the removal of the, of the animal. The dry, that, then that salt secretes secret it. Hmm? It treats it. Not, not to rot not to, to decay, you see? And uh, it takes a short time to get dry. You just put it in one day. One day can be dry enough. <laughs> uh, we have this type of drums. These drums are used especially with, uh, they are used with Arabs. Those Arabs, they use this, they call it matali. Here we use uh, uh, goat skins, goat or sheep skins. We remove the hair like this, then we get this skin. It makes a very nice sound. We use goat skins on these drums uh, because uh, we don't, uh, uh, it depends on what, on the echo. The, it is smooth, first of all. Second, they use fire and shine when they are trying to tune because they are not like our drums here so for them they put in the sunshine to raise the, the volume and the fire during the night when they don't have sun so that's how they they tried to that's why we use this and uh, they always eat goats those people they are the arabs they eat a lot of goats and sheep so these skins, they love these skins. That's why we use these skins on, on this kind of drum. But the rest we use the cow skins. They use these drums to alert people. When they are uh, any uh, type of alerting people, they want to dig the well, they want to clear the roads, uh, they, they used these drums to alert people whether there is a danger on the, on the village or on the, on the area. These drums, they are used to alert the people. And whether there is an a occasion, a joyful occasion, they are the same drums used. Yeah? They are the same drums used to enjoy and to bring joy to people, laughter to people. When they are happy, when they want to dance, to rejoice, they use these drums to, uh, in such occasions so that they can make everything okay. Um, and uh, in the palaces, these drums are used. Uh, when we, there is a guest, a visitor coming in, we use this drum to welcome, to welcome a visitor. And uh, when we want to say bye-bye, at the same time, we also use uh, these music instruments. So, it's, so it is used when welcoming a visitor and when saying bye-bye to a visitor and when entertaining him, you see? So it is much important. And we, in these drums, you can see sometimes we are using these things. 
when we play. Some people do mistake. These drums, we don't beat them. We play. They are music instruments. We play, we enjoy. We don't beat them. That's why we use the minyoro. This we, we, we are calling it a minyoro. We don't call them sticks. When we come to this drum, we have what we call a set. A set of drum. We have a set, uh, a set of drum. The first set or the primary set is a set of four drums. We we'll make this two. The one is of a bass tune, the, 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 the high tune, another one is of a bass tune. Then you will get the long drum like this. This is a longer drum. Then there is a small drum called the Namunjoroba or Nankasa. Then when we put in some shakers, then we call it a, a set. Then I think it can start. So when you go to a secondary set or updated set, that is a set of almost 70 drums because you have to put in the main drum, the bass drum, the mixer or the chidongo drum. Then you count the two small drums in Namunjoroba or Nankasa. You add in two longer drums in Galabi. They are add a total of seven drums. Yeah, when you look at these longer drums, uh, we have ta dif different types of skins we use on these long drums. Especially a, drum, a long drum is supposed to have this type of skin. This we call a monitor lizard skin. These are lizards. They are monitor lizard skin. They live in water and the rivers. We have those ones on dry, those who live in swamps, but normally they live in, uh, in water. In lakes and rivers, we call them monitor lizard skin. When you happen to get this type of skin, you put on a long drum, it gives you a very, very good uh, echo. It is a nice instrument. Hello, what's your name? I'm called Diego Ruanga. Uh, Ruanga, you're in Uganda, eh? Yeah. That is good. <laughs> okay, now, uh, we, we were told, when we went to Kasubi Tombs, we were told that, um, that uh, the men who played the drums those days for the king were castrated. Do you think today, if a king ever handpicked a man to stay in the palace and play these drums for him, do you think he should be castrated? I don't think so, because normally drums have been have been have been used in way for quite a long period of time. This is our culture, the Boganda culture. This that's the way of communication, because we use it when we're celebrating our our stuff. We use it through. Anyway, it can't be as per now. Yeah. Can you play drums? Yes, I can. You can, eh? Nankasa and all those things, eh? <laughs> and you can also dance, eh? Yes, I can. No, okay. I can't dance as much. But, but you play the try. drums, eh? Okay, what's your general opinion about drums? When you look at us now, this generation, you know, we have electric electric drums these days. You have things that are, everything is electrified, you know, digital. People have gone digital on everything. What do you think about the drums today? Drums, we have to use them again. As the Baganda, we still need them. Because that's uh, it takes us back in days for our grand judges. They used to 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 to, to celebrate through through using them. So we can't take them away because of digital. We have still to still use them because we still need them. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Eh? Have a lovely day. I'd like to give special thanks to Mr. Mposa for hosting us and giving us guidance all through the drums like you've seen. He is the owner of Yesu Alokola Drum Makers. It is located near Kasuvi Tombs. Now we know the names of the drums and the different skin heights that they are made of. I believe we've added knowledge on the things that we already knew about drums. I'm Etiang Laura hosting you. This is Know Your Roots. Keep watching.